Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss the requirements for ECFMD certification for 2023 match. If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I post videos on the US and Canadian licensing exams every week. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This really does help YouTube algorithm. If you already subscribe, I greatly appreciate that. Now let's jump into the video. First, let's talk a bit about the background. Before the pandemic, there were three exams to be CFMD certified in total. These were Step 1, Step 2 Clinical Knowledge, and Step 2 Clinical Skills. As the Step 2 CS exam was a clinical exam, it was impossible to conduct the exam during the pandemic. As a result, CS was postponed. But to be eligible for ECFMD certification, international medical graduates must satisfy the clinical and communication skills requirements. As a reminder, IMGs cannot apply for the US residency position unless ECFMD is certified. That is why ECFMD introduced different pathways to fulfill these requirements. Please note that if you already have satisfied the clinical and communication skill requirements with an approved application to the 21 or 22 pathways, you do not need to pursue a pathway for the participation in 2023 match. For 2023, there are 6 pathways. Let's see first what are the general criteria for all pathways. As I said earlier, if you already have an approved pathway or pass step to CS, you are not eligible. And it makes sense because by this time you should be CFMD certified so you do not need to apply again. Other criteria are not barred by CFMD from pursuing certification, have submitted an application, have previously been registered for USMLE step or step component. I do not know why it is said only registered on website but my understanding is you need to pass step 1 and step 2 CK exam. In addition, applicants of all pathways, regardless of citizenship or native language, are required to attain a satisfactory score on the Occupational English Test or OET. There is no exception. In today's video, I will talk about Pathway 1 in details. Pathway 1 is for applicants who currently hold or have recently held a license or registration to practice medicine without supervision in any country at any time on or after January 1, 2018. That means if you have the license but it requires supervised practice such as training license, internship, you are not eligible for this pathway. The date of initial license may be prior to January 1, 2018, but it still must have been valid on or after January 1, 2018. However, it does not need to be currently valid. In addition, there should not be any disciplinary action and must have met all the requirements to practice medicine in that country. Please note, if anyone has any failed attempt in CS, he or she must apply through Pathway 6, even though she or he might hold a valid independent practicing license. If you meet all these criteria, you can apply for the Pathway 1. The application is expected to open in the second quarter of 2022, and the deadline is no later than January 31st, 23rd. For the application instructions, please see the link in the description below. Now the application fee. The application fee for this pathway or any pathway is $925, which is close to any USML exam fee. I do not know why it is so high. It is what it is. Please comment down below what do you think regarding the fee. That's all for today. In my next video, I will be continuing with other pathways. Till then, stay connected. If you find these videos helpful, again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Thank you so much for watching.